and I understand you've done some uh, remarkable uh, tests on uh, olive oil and found uh, some interesting uh, facts. Yes, indeed. Uh, it took us about uh, four years to develop a, a new tool for the evaluation of the health protective activity of uh, olive oil. Mm -hmm. And uh, during this uh, study, uh, we found that there's a very big variability in the concentration of some bioactive constituents of olive oil. This prompted us to investigate why there is such a variability and which are the factors that influence the concentration of the bioactive constituents in olive oil. Uh, and it's, let's say, useful to explain why we have chosen some specific constituents of olive oil for our study. And I have to explain that our focus was on uh, a compound named oleocanthal and the second one named oleacin. The first one is a very strong anti-inflammatory agent and the second one is a very uh, strong antioxidant compound. Uh, so we assumed that the concentration of both compounds plays a significant role in the health protective activity of olive oil. So after choosing these two compounds, we went back to the olive mills and the olive groves to try to find which factors influence the concentration of these two compounds in the olive oil. Mm -hmm. And we have seen that there's a very good correlation of the concentration of these compounds with the harvest mm -hmm. time. So we have seen that when the olives are harvested unripe, when they are green, they give an olive oil which is very rich in these compounds. Mm -hmm. And also we have seen that there is a correlation with the specific variety of the olive tree. Uh, we have seen that some varieties have the ability to produce high concentration of these compounds. And uh, it's very important to say that um, probably the most um, powerful variety is the Koronaiki variety, which is uh, uh, the most abundant variety in Greece. And this is a very good point for the Greek olive oil. Uh, also, we have seen that there is a correlation with uh, the process that is used in the olive mills. We have seen that when the olive oil is produced using high temperatures during the malaxation procedure, then uh, the olive oil has a reduced concentration of these compounds. So it's very good if you want to, to have an olive oil with uh, increased concentration of bioactive compounds, it's good to make a harvest, an early harvest, to process the olives in low temperature and to choose the correct variety. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the most significant factors. Of course there are more other like the irrigation or the climate or the soil and this is something that we are currently investigating. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to tell us which ones are the best olive oils then? Uh, um, my experience during the last four years that we were doing, we were doing this study um, says that there are some regions in Greece where you have the highest possibility to find a good olive oil. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would say that Messinia, the region of Kalamata, is probably one of those regions because there you have um, uh, Koronaki variety almost excuse exclusively mm -hmm. and the olive mills are working in a very um, careful way and uh, the people are taking care for the correct harvest practice and uh, there is also another region which is um, the eastern part of Peloponnese which is southeast Laconia mm -hmm. and this is also a very uh, a very nice region where you can find high quality olive oils. Uh, we have seen very interesting samples coming from the Aegean Islands like Paros and some samples coming from Crete and uh, some also very interesting samples coming from northern Greece from the island of Thassos. So these are some of the I would say best olive oils related to the health protecting activities and not to the taste or the flavor.
Right. We're just talking about the health protecting activities and especially for the health protecting activities that from the next year they will be uh, protected by the European uh, community um, regulations. And this is something very important that will change uh, the way that the producers and the consumers face the olive oil. Yeah. Because now we have health claims that are officially accepted. And there are olive oils that depending on the concentration of specific polyphenols can claim that they can protect uh, the LDL cholesterol from oxidation and this is crucial for uh, our health and the protection of our cardiovascular system. Yeah. So this is a very good point for the future of olive oil and especially Greek olive oil. Fantastic. So I see you getting a lot of samples from other areas of Greece here to test. Yeah, we have uh, more than 250 samples uh, studied up to today and right. every day there are samples coming and coming and not only from Greece, we are also um, uh, getting samples coming from the United States or from Australia mm. and now we are looking for samples uh, coming from Spain or Italy to have a, uh, a broader study on the olive oil constituents. Fantastic. So in the end we are going to have a, a real uh, proof of what, which olive oil we should buy based on the uh, health effects? Yeah, or they, is it they, going to be in a pharmacy in a little pill, uh, a little uh, hmm. capsule? Yeah, like you know, th there, are, there are two possibilities. The first one is to find uh, olive oils that are produced to be very rich mm. in bioactive constituents. And this is something that will not be very easy. We have to test a lot of olive oils and that will change from year to year. But we believe that we will find the factors that can guarantee mm. a high quality olive oil with strong health protecting activities. So I'm sure that the next year we will know which olive oils are really the best. Right. But not only that, there is another option. These compounds, either in the form of olive oil, either extracted from olive oil, can enter uh, the pharmacy store in the form of a capsule. Capsule, yes. Yeah. So the, the as it happens in the fish oil. Right. So yeah. those who don't like the taste can still yeah. consume it. Yeah. 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 It, 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 it's good to say about the taste that these specific compounds that are uh, responsible for the bioactivity and the health protection mm -hmm. have a quite strong taste. Uh, one of them is, uh, I would say, slightly bitter and the second one is slightly pungent. Mm. So when you consume an olive oil that presents a bitterness and a pungency, that, that says that it's a good olive oil. It's, not, it's not a rancid olive right. oil. It's a good, it's a high quality olive oil that has retained all the bioactive compounds inside. So when it tickles your throat, it's good for you? It's good. It's good for you. It's something that we have to explain for the right. consumers. Okay. But if in case you don't like that taste, I'm sure that in the next years you will see olive oil or olive oil compounds in the form of capsules in the pharmacy stores. Right. All right. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Prokopis. <laughs> and you're doing great work. Well, welcome. <laughs>